Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and changes that Microsoft have been working on build 21.337. These changes are available through the dev channel and while they are not tied to any specific release of Windows, most of them are expected to arrive with version 21H2 when it ships during the second half of 2021. Okay, so let's have a closer look at the new features and changes available on this flight. Starting with build 21.337, Windows 10 is updating virtual desktop with two new features. For example, now you can drag and drop each item to rearrange your virtual desktops. And now you can right click each item and you will see an option that allows you to choose a background for the virtual desktops. Although we're still not getting a modern equivalent Windows 10 includes an updated version of File Explorer. In this release, the app now has additional padding between the elements to make it easier to use the app on touch enabled devices, as you can see right here and through here. If you prefer the classic look, now on the folder options on the View tab, and when you scroll down, you will see a new Use Compact Mode option, which you can check to disable the new layout. And you can now see the difference between the two modes. As part of the changes for the settings app on ease of access, Windows 10 build 21.337 has updated the captions page with a new design that allows you to select the caption style that you want more easily using a drop-down menu. In addition, you can now click this button to create a new caption style. You can choose the text color, the background color, and the window color. You can also set up the opacity and you can save the changes as a new style. And once you save the style, you can select it from the drop down menu. If you want to edit the caption style, you can select it and the edit button. Or if you no longer need it, you can just delete it. Also on build 21337 on system displayed and Windows HD color settings, Microsoft is introducing a new Auto HDR feature for Windows 10 to improve the gaming experience. The feature is the same as the one available on Xbox Series X and S. And I actually don't have it on my virtual machine available, but I can show you a screenshot of how that setting looks like. And basically when you enable HDR, if your monitor is compatible, you also see a new auto HDR toggle switch that you can enable. And when you turn this on, you will get brighter and bolder HDR visuals automatically on many DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 games. Just remember that this feature is on development and it is on preview, so it might not work 100% as intended. As part of this release, Windows 10 build 21.337 is also including a new version of Notepad that now includes a new icon, as you can see right here. And now it is an app that gets updates from the Microsoft Store. So we might see new features and other changes more frequently because they're going to be delivered through the Microsoft Store. Other changes on this build is that the Windows Terminal app will be installed by default. And also the new Power Automate Desktop app. Those are the two new apps that will come installed by default on Windows 10. If you're not familiar with this app, the Power Automate Desktop allows you to automate web and desktop applications by mimicking the user interface actions like clicks and keyboard inputs to automate repetitive tasks. 
I will be leaving a link in the video description so you can get more info on how to use this app and what it's more about. And that's pretty much all that's new on Windows 10 build 21337. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.